What if I told you that hidden beneath your feet, nature leaves secret signs that gemstones are close, and you don't even need a single tool to find them? This is the simplest way to find gemstones without tools. And it begins not with machines, but with your eyes, your hands, and your patience. The greatest gem hunters throughout history weren't always miners with heavy drills or wealthy traders with endless resources. They were ordinary people who learned to observe the land. The ground itself tells stories. Every stream, every slope, every patch of soil is like a book written by the earth. And gemstones are the hidden words. The simplest way to unlock those secrets is through observation. Before we even step into rivers, deserts, or hillsides, we must learn to see differently. Look for contrasts. In a pile of gravel, most stones are dull, opaque, or uniform. But occasionally, one piece shines, glitters, or allows light to pass through. That's your first clue. It doesn't take a loop, a torch, or a hammer. Only the ability to notice what doesn't belong. One of the easiest places to find gemstones without tools is along rivers and streams. Why? Because rivers are natural concentrators. Over time, water carries lighter sediments downstream, while heavier minerals, like garnet, sapphire, or even diamond, drop and settle into cracks, bends, and gravel beds. Walk along the inside curves of a river. That's where the current slows and drops its heaviest load. Bend down, scoop a handful of gravel, and let the water wash away the light sand between your fingers. What remains is heavier, and among those heavier pieces may be something that gleams just a little too brightly to be ordinary rock. This method doesn't require pans, sieves, or trays. Your own hands are the oldest tool. Let the river do the washing for you. Gemstones often hide underground, trapped in soil and weathered rock. But rain is the great revealer. When storms carve gullies into slopes, they expose what lies beneath. The simplest way to search is to walk those gullies slowly after rain. Look carefully at the soil where erosion has freshly cut through. Often, small crystals are exposed, lying half buried or resting on the surface. The sparkle of quartz, the green hint of peridot, the red fire of garnet. They can all be revealed by nothing more than water washing away the cover of dust. The trick is patience. Many people glance and move on. The gem finder stops, crouches, and lets their eyes adjust to the subtle flashes that most walkers ignore. It's not only water that reveals gemstones. In deserts, wind takes the role of the river. For centuries, relentless gusts blow lighter particles away, stripping surfaces bare. What remains are the denser materials, iron-rich rocks, heavy pebbles, and occasionally, gemstones. Imagine walking across dry land, the sun beating down. The surface seems lifeless, just sand and rock. But then, a glimmer catches your eye. You bend down. It's heavier than it looks, rough yet translucent. That's how topaz, zircon, and garnet have been found in barren landscapes. No pick, no sieve, just the sharpness of your eyes. But let's be honest. Nature loves to trick us. Glassy fragments, shiny mica flakes, or colorful pebbles often mimic gemstones. How can you tell the difference without tools? Glass often shows small bubbles inside. True crystals form clean internal structures. Mica splits into thin sheets. Real gemstones resist peeling. Pebbles, usually duller inside. Gems will often reveal depth, clarity, or unexpected sparkle when tilted in sunlight. One of the simplest checks is weight. Pick up the stone. Does it feel heavier than it should for its size? Density is a gemstone's natural signature. Gemstones interact with light in ways ordinary stones cannot. Even rough, uncut crystals show signs. Hold a stone up to the sun. Does light enter and bend, glowing inside? That's a sign of transparency. Rotate it slowly. Does it flash or glimmer in ways others don't? That's refraction at work. For example, amethyst may reveal purple streaks even under dust. A small sapphire chip may hold blue depths that never wash away. Peridot glows green in sunlight, brighter than the grass around it. This isn't just about sight. It's about training your eyes to notice subtle differences. That's how great gem hunters turn walks into discoveries. Most beginners search obvious places, riverbanks, trails, 
gravels, but gemstones are often found in the overlooked spots. Check the base of cliffs where erosion drops heavy materials. Look in dry stream beds that only flow after storms. They trap gems in their short-lived currents. Peer into cracks in bedrock along rivers. These are natural traps where gemstones lodge and remain hidden for years. No tools are needed, just curiosity and a willingness to look where others won't. The earth rarely gives up its treasures easily. Most people walk too fast, expecting gemstones to glitter like jewels in a shop window. But real crystals are shy. They blend with gravel, hide under soil, or wait for the right angle of sunlight to reveal them. The simplest way to find them, then, is also the hardest. Patience. Crouch down. Let your hands sift slowly. Because when that moment comes, when you rinse off a stone and sunlight reveals a spark within, you'll know it was worth every step. Sometimes the clue isn't the gemstone itself, but the rock surrounding it. Quartz veins running through bedrock, patches of unusually colored soil, or black sands collected along riverbanks. These are silent signals. They tell you the ground has endured pressures and forces strong enough to form crystals. When you see these patterns, you're standing close to where gemstones may rest. Plants, too, whisper hints. Certain trees and shrubs grow where mineral-rich soils exist. In some places, grass grows greener over gem-bearing gravels. It doesn't mean gems sit waiting on the surface, but it tells you the earth beneath is unusual. Worth slowing down, worth looking closer. The greatest thrill is when patience pays off. You crouch low, the sun at your back, scanning carefully. At first, nothing but dust and gravel. Then, a flicker, a spark of light that doesn't vanish when you blink. You reach down. It's small, rough, heavier than expected. You rinse it in the stream. For a heartbeat, the world stops. In your palm lies a gemstone, found without a single tool. Just your eyes, your hands, and the wisdom of nature. But remember, the gemstone itself isn't the only prize. The true reward is connection. To see the earth not as empty ground, but as a living story, filled with clues, whispers, and secrets waiting to be unlocked. With nothing more than patience and awareness, you've walked the same path that ancient seekers once did. And now, dear explorer, if you're ready to keep uncovering these mysteries, join me here on ProGems. Subscribe today and step into a world where every video reveals another secret of the earth, another method of discovery, another treasure waiting for your hands. Because gemstones are still out there. The earth has not finished speaking. The only question is, will you be the one to listen?